consider this structure CH3, CH2, CH2 times 3, CH2OH. Go ahead and draw the calculate structure of this particular condensed structure. Now a calculate structure is like a Lewis structure with the exception that the lone pairs are usually omitted. So we're not going to worry about drawing the lone pairs on oxygen. So go ahead and draw the calculate structure for this molecule. So let's start with the carbon on the left. So that carbon has three hydrogens attached to it. Next, it's attached to a CH2 group. So we have a carbon with two hydrogens, and then we have three CH2 groups. So that's going to be three carbons, all connected to each other, each with two hydrogen atoms. And then we have another CH2 group with an OH at the end. And so this is the calculate structure of this particular condensed structure. Here's another example that you can work on. Draw the calculate structure of CH3, CH, Br, CH2, C, CH3 times 3. Take a minute and work on that example. So starting with the carbon on the left and working our way towards the right, that carbon has three hydrogen atoms attached to it. And then it's attached to a carbon atom, which has a hydrogen, and it has a bromine atom attached to it as well. And then after that, we have a CH2. So that's a carbon with two hydrogens. And that's attached to another carbon. And that carbon has three methyl groups. Now, whenever you see a CH3 group, it's always at the end. It can never be in the middle. And this is a CH3 group as well. CH and CH2 groups, you can have that in the middle of the chain. But CH3 groups, they always tend to stick outside of the chain. They can't be in the middle. Now, here's another example. CH3, CH... CH3, CH2, CH, OH times 2. What about that example? It looks like we have a CH3 in the middle. So what should we do if we see that? So let's start with the CH3 on the left. So we have a carbon with three hydrogen atoms. And then we have a CH group. So that's a carbon with a hydrogen. Now, this particular CH3 group, we cannot write it like this and then attach a CH2 next to it because carbon can't have five bonds. If you were to expand it and write it as CH3 and then CH2, it wouldn't make sense. You can't have a carbon with five bonds. So that's why you can't put a CH3 group in the middle. So in this case, we need to put the CH3 group outside of the chain. So I'm going to highlight that in red. And then after that, we can place the CH2 group in the middle of the chain. And then we have a CH, so that's a carbon with one hydrogen atom, and that carbon is attached to two other OH groups, which I'm going to highlight in red. And so that's the calculate structure for this particular condensed structure. Now let's consider one more example. CH3, CH2, C, CH3 times 2, and then CH2, CH, Cl, CH2, CF3. Go ahead and work on that example. So let's start with the carbon on the left. We have three hydrogens attached to it. And then we have a CH2, so a carbon with two hydrogens. And then we have another carbon 
with two methyl groups. So I'm going to highlight that in blue. And then there's a CH2 group, a carbon with two hydrogens. And then we have CHCl. So we have carbon with a hydrogen and with a chlorine atom, which I'll highlight in green. And then it's a CH2 and then CF3. So the last carbon has three fluorine atoms. And so that's it. That's how you can write the Kekulé structure or the expanded Lewis structure for this particular molecule.